Welcome drone video fans, my name is Bill and in this uh, video we're going to take a look at uh, Roaming Shores Lake, sometimes also called Lake Roaming Rock. Uh, it's located um, in the southeastern part of uh, Ashtabula County, Ohio and uh, it's a uh, an inland lake uh, that's the center of Roaming Shores community uh, population 1500 uh, whose you know population is basically um, on the shores of, of this uh, lake. This lake is uh, from this end where we took off to the other end is about five miles long with 22 miles of shoreline and uh, a total of about 550 acres of, uh, of um, lake. We're going to fly along this um, uh, bank here and uh, get some uh, of the local Canadian geese uh, to uh, fly out into the water and uh, they, they they didn't seem to mind when I flew back over them later. We're keeping it about uh, 30 uh, feet altitude here, which uh, turns out to be a bad choice, uh, as you'll see later on. Here we're, we're flying over the spillway where the uh, lake itself runs over the spillway and then down into Rock Creek. And uh, you'll see as we, as we turn, you know, you'll see Rock Creek. Rock Creek, not unsurprisingly, runs to Rock Creek, Ohio, which is a short distance from uh, um, Roaming Shores, Ohio. Um, with the water going, cascading down this, uh, this spillway, I thought, you know, there might be some fish down here that we could see feeding. And if I had my Evo with the zoom capabilities, I might have had a better chance of seeing anything. But we didn't see anything uh, with the... Uh, with a video here, so we we just enjoyed the uh, the the view of the cascading water and uh, the turbulent waters there as as uh, the uh, lake sort of uh, flows over and into uh, uh, Rock Creek as it as it goes uh, north here. That's the direction we're facing now is towards the north, which runs towards the uh, small town of uh, Rock Creek. Now we're going to pan here and, and uh, look back towards our, our launch point, which was just uh, close to the uh, administration building. There's another spillway, which is uh, no longer in use, but uh, we're going to be uh, sort of flying along the uh, edges of this lake. And there's a lot of lake to, uh, to look at and probably would be, have been better if we taken it up nice and high in order to be able to get a full... Uh, idea of how how big this lake actually is. The uh, entertainment possibilities on this lake are sort of uh, endless because you know we have uh, jet skis and allowed in certain areas of the lake and general watercraft and a lot of uh, houseboats for people that uh, want to just like you know walk down to the to their pier at from their house and get on their houseboat and maybe have a little party or whatever and then head towards the other end of the lake some five miles away. Here's that flock of uh, Canadian geese and uh, I did stop and, and count them and if you want to stop and count them and see if you got the same number I did you're welcome to do so but there's a uh, quite a quite a few of them. Uh, I'll, let's say I'll just give you a hint there's more than three dozen there. Um, at any rate uh, it didn't seem to bother them that much uh, as I was flying over them now that they're in their natural element of, uh, of the water and uh, once we had our fill of the uh, Canadian geese we bring the uh, uh, gimbal back up and we're going to head, start heading along the shoreline and uh, you'll see a variety of watercraft everything from houseboats to regular boats to jet skis and and again everything is sort of uh, you know has certain areas where it's allowed particularly I think the jet, ski, jet skis are the things that are the most restricted because the people that live in these houses right on the lake don't like to hear those things, you know, screaming up and down past their property. But you can see that the uh, uh, houses and the, you know, right along the shore are are uh, real nice houses. Uh, and I'm not sure what properties go for around here, but uh, I would guess that they're not uh, inexpensive. Let's put it that way. So as we're, we're moving along here, you're seeing me uh, duck behind trees. Again, remember we're only about 30 feet above the uh, water here. And even though my, uh, my DJI 
transmitter has got some reflectors on the on the two antennas uh, that's not strong enough to uh, penetrate through uh, uh, several sets of trees and we're going to duck behind another set of trees here and continue along the uh, the shoreline for you to get some look at, a look at some additional boats and and watercraft and uh, again it's a uh, this was a an early uh, Sunday mo morning, and and so maybe people weren't out uh, as yet. But uh, you know, people let's say at this end of the lake and put put out in their their craft and go all the way down to the other end of the lake where there's uh, uh, hotels and um, you know bars and you know adult watering holes if you want to call it that and uh, party party centers. So. Uh, there's lots to do if you just if you want to do that sort of thing or just want to uh, float along in your in your own boat and do fishing or whatever it is that you want to do it's there's there's ample opportunity to do just about anything and about this time now after go going behind several sets of trees we're getting we're experiencing some severe video breakup uh, choppiness and break up completely no video signal uh, craft disconnected uh, you know all these warning messages so um, rather than climbing up to an altitude where I knew I would, I would probably get video I decided to just you know push forward on it and maybe try a, a turn and, and re recover video uh, the Phantom 3 has worse video when it's aiming back at you so we lost video completely and almost wound up hitting some uh, shoreline trees except for the fact that we made a remarkable recovery right here and pushed it out to the left and got away from the uh, trees and more out into the open and as we move along you're going to see the uh, the lake passing beneath us uh, at a much more rapid pace uh, in order to get back within solid video uh, uh, range and you know right at this point we have solid video and as we turn around this last group of trees you can see the uh, administration building in my car there so uh, at this point we uh, took a, a huge sigh of uh, relief and uh, knew that we were uh, probably okay this this is going to be a nice place to come back to do a, a fall color shoot since you know this is the first day of fall as I record this and uh, we'll you know maybe do that uh, as the uh, fall colors uh, start to set in along the lake it should be uh, quite nice anyways uh, uh, Hope you enjoyed this uh, uh, little video on Roaming Shores, Ohio, uh, Lake Roaming Rock. Um, we try to get up a, a new video once a week. Uh, this one uh, comes up about a week after our last. Uh, leave a comment if you're so inclined. And uh, look forward to uh, catching you in our, in our next video uh, next week sometime, uh, weather permitting. Thanks for stopping by and watching.